in the correct play. It's lucky he pulled it off. It's not necessarily good, but you know it worked. And he DC'd. <laughs> yeah, he rage quit. He <laughs> Oh, what's going on guys? Just want to jump on before the video starts and say I bought a new headset for you guys. The mic quality isn't in insanely good, but you know, it's pretty cheap anyway, so I do apologize for the audio in this video. It's using my old headset and the, the levels are all out of whack, but nonetheless, it's, if you can get through it, it's a really, really great video. Very educational for top laners um, and general awareness overall, so thanks for watching, gang. I recall you saying something about about having the most ranked games played in in OC. Do you want to elaborate a bit on that? I am the one, the one and only Diamond motherfucking day. Most ranked games played in all of OCE. Okay, that's a fact. Ranked one of the highest in all of OC. Well, forty fifth in all of OC. All right, but I've only played ranked games on this account. I don't really play norms. Meanwhile, everyone else on in this chart is literally you look up my burger on os oh it's literally a bot that only plays aram on the repeat it's it's a bot to get the most ranked games or leveling okay right so just to clarify for everyone in the stream who doesn't speak ape he's saying that all of these players are bots that have this is wasted time on lol okay it's the amount of time spent on lol yeah. He's gone through each individual player, searched their accounts, and determined that all of these guys are bots. They don't CS, they're, they're bots that are probably used to sell off to, to other people, right? Exactly. Right. And I'm in, like, the top 40, and this is just one account. So, let's look at his account. <clears throat> Diamond Dave. So, you're an, ADC, you, you're an ADC main, but you say that you can't play ADC in your ELO? I main Draven, but the bots in this ELO are brain dead. Garbage, trash, get themselves killed, feed the enemy ADC, and make it extremely hard for me to carry. As well as other lanes being degenerate, coin flicking the game at six minutes in. So I had to retire myself to the top lane. Right. Where I literally hold the king of Ergot. So I, I would say, I would say, uh, we'll go through an Ergot gameplay. I think that considering you have a 60% win rate over 474 games, I think that's probably going to be the best route of climbing, right? You've already got a good win rate. We just need to work of out the course. little kinks in your game style um, and see how you can carry the game. Because Ergot's pretty fucked late game, so we'll jump into this VOD review anyway. Yeah, right. Anyway. Okay, let's, let's have a look. Right. <clears throat> I'm watching, I'm watching. Turn the volume down a bit. <clears throat> so how in detail do you want to go into? What, what, what are, is there any particular points that you want to be focusing on in this particular game? Okay, firstly, I played around the team. This Kane said, Hey guys, come rush, invade. Uh, I want my early form. I understand he's a complete idiot. Right. He's leading the charge. We have no CC. He's just running straight in. I'm like, shit, what can I do to save the team here? Because we could all die. Okay, well this is so int. I'd sneak up around. No, 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 I wasn't in vision. Okay. If you go back a little. Okay. I could have snuck around and got a good flip. Okay. Anyway. Kane's still running at him. I'm like, get the fuck out, idiot. Okay. Then I see a pick. A good pick here. Nice. Very flippy, but nice. Yeah, I know. But then I... Okay, you need through. to back up there. You could have walked out there. Yeah, you I should have. Yeah, I should have backed out. You would have. You would have yeah. if you backed out there. All right. So let's let's play. Let's be serious, right? And see what we can actually improve on gameplay-wise. You said at the beginning that you know it's a bad call um, going in. Yet you went in anyway. So I would say. You know, th I say it a lot, there's a fine line between not going in at all and knowing that it's a bad play, or going in in a bad play and then dying, right? So there's a balance of like, if you just leave your team all together, you're kind of inting, but at the same time, if you go in and die, also you're inting. So I think like, you know, this is probably fine what you're doing going in. Um, you get the flip, you actually get the kill, which is fine. Um, and then, and no, I think you can still go here, right? But as soon as she flashes, probably back. Um, and even like after she exhausts, you can still live here, I think, because you have heal. So you should have backed, but that's fine. You know, it's not bad. You get a kill early. Um, doesn't matter too much. You're going to be late to lane. Do you run or TP here is the question. We see Mordekaiser here. Okay, good, yeah. We see Mordekaiser, so there's no need to um, TP. Maybe if it was already in lane. Nah, it shouldn't matter anyway, actually. So, yep. like, you kind of contributed to that in play, right? Like, so even though you got the kill, your teammates died because you went so ham up here, right? You know that? The main cause is because the cane went. No, yes. you got to get out of that mindset. Was... You got to get out of that mindset. Because okay. if they, I, they might have just, they might have just left if like after this. But because you ran around, they stayed. So, 
you know, it's not the end of the game yet. Obviously, it doesn't matter too much. You get top top TP, which is good. Now, very good. Now, I don't know too much about Ergot, but you say he's got good pushing power, right? Level one, you want a hard pusher advantage because you're stronger. However, I I lagged and I die coming up soon. Okay. Or something. But well, it doesn't matter because my wave position is immaculate. Okay. And because he, I know he already has no TP. Can can you play Ergot and let it push into you, or do his auto, auto attacks not let you? I can. Okay. Did I want to in this scenario? Well, I think you should, right? He's TP'd. He's in lane significantly faster than you. He's auto, or, already auto attacking the wave. So what does that say? Uh, he's got. He's gonna hit. Theoretically, he should hit level two faster. Exactly. Will he though? No, because I'm a ranged champion. I have my passive legs. I can kill the wave fast. It's but basically a free tier map. You lack too much time, I think. So you're late, so late to lane. He's auto already attacking and killing the minion wave. So it's guaranteed, I think, that the wave's pushing into you at this stage, right? Um, okay, fair. I I personally wouldn't wouldn't try to hit level two. I would just sack the level two rush. Um, I mean, I think you still go for it anyway, right? But he, he's, yeah, I, I would just let it slow push into me, um, and then on the second wave, you would hit level two, and then you can go from there. See, this is just like, you know he's got an XP lead on you right now. All right, let's go back. Let's, this is like really, really important. <clears throat> so he's pushing, the wave's pushing into you, you're, you're far behind, but you have TP advantage. So as far as I'm concerned, you're True. winning lane right now. Um... I would... I don't think you need to be standing so close to the minions. Um, you could maybe be standing down here and trying to get an auto attack off on him without taking damage. Um, True. Like, you could auto attack here and, like, stand to the side, maybe up here, and then and then dodge the Q. But I don't think you should, like... You know he's going to hit level 2, right? Next wave. Yeah, like, he's going to he's, he's gonna hit it first. So I just think this is troll. And the minion damage, too, is obviously really, really high. So I think you should have just but let it push into you. Look how hard I win this trade, man. Yeah, good trade, but I still think it's like it's it's principles that you need to apply to each game because this is just a flip that somehow paid off. If it was another champ, I assume you still would have done the same thing probably, and no, it no, might no. it might not have worked out. No, I wouldn't have done it. Okay. I would have left it here. I should have left it here, and then I, I he he only won that because he got the isolation damage on the right. the Q. That, but that but brought it back. Even still, Very I think up. even still, I think that. The trade, like maybe a little bit earlier, like how you were significantly higher, that would have been good. But even still, I think it's better to stay full health, let him get the level two first, because when you're level two, you can easily kill him, right? True. You can easily kill him, but instead you jeopardize getting a trade off, um, and it means that you die. So you get his flash, he dies. At least you have TP, so it's lane's still not over, right? Um, exactly. So you're up. Hard TP, kind of dangerous TP, I think maybe. You're still level one. You don't have an E to get out, and if he's E is up, but anyway, it's fine. I do have an E to get okay. out. So now, what's your game? What are you thinking here right now? I'm gonna freeze this wave because I know he has no TP. Hold it in front of my tower, and if he walks up for it, because we're both level two, I kill him. Okay. Simple. Not bad. And that is what I did. Perfectly. Not bad. Um, I think that you could. I mean, actually, yeah, it's pretty good now. If you went for a recall, you'd probably want to shove, right? But the hardest part is right. because you're so early on in the game, um, like, if he's recalled before you start shoving, there's a good chance he'll get back to lane when the wave crashes at his tower, right? So, I think this is fine. Um, he's, I think you should be pinging for your jungler, probably, but I guess it doesn't matter. Do you ping much in this game? Nope, because junglers don't listen to pings anyway. Plus... Assume they have pings muted. I would I would be pinging. I would be spam pinging his flash, his TP, and then, like, you've got an awesome freeze, right? So it's obviously really, really gankable. That's a good auto attack there. I don't think you need to chase up after... Because he's got bone plating, right? So I think you should pop bone plating, let him walk back. Didn't need to take that Q. Um, but you should just be thinning the wave out, landing some Qs on him. Do you have Q? Oh, you don't. Do you? I'm level, I'm level 2. Okay. I have Q, E, and W. Okay. So now he's backing, right? We see that we know he's backing. You can either... I can still freeze it. Yeah, probably just still freeze it. Yeah. Because but the thing is, he has no TP, so... Exactly. He can't back. If he backs, he's bad. That's what he realizes. He's like, oh shit, I actually can't back. I have to hard Right, and see how he's now. really trying to shove it in? You're still... You're not matching his push, so you can see how his wins are getting too much now. They were good before, just a little bit balanced so that it would stay there, but now it's obviously going to crash under your tower, right? 
that, that's what I'm hoping for. That. Okay. Walk up. I want him to have that priority okay. to walk up a little, and that's when I hit him with the E flash. Okay. Nice. So, free kill. He loses huge. You're waves. still tanking minions here now, look. I have to, otherwise the wave. Oh, you still want to keep freezing? Okay. I want to keep it freezing. Do we know where the jungler that's is? Because see, he okay. comes back and I just killed him. Yeah, well that's that's good. Good good job. That's that's really good. And now what's your plans here? I'm trying to sh I believe I try to shove, get a recall off, and then I come back to lane by walking. Okay. Well uh, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. See what happens. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it looks like you're gonna push it back. Um I think that So you killed him, right? We don't know where the jungler is. I think that what you can do here is hit a few minions, thin the wave out a bit. Wait for your next wave to come as it does right now, and literally just recall. Because what happens if you recall? The wave stays here, he has no flash, and he's forced to walk up again, and Kane's whole top side is up, so he has to come top, whether or not he's, the jungle sucks, right? So, we, you actually can't push it in time. He's already alive. He's probably, like, around here, right? Let's check vision. Fuck, these birds are so annoying. Where is he? Oh, he's still in base. Alright, so Fid's there, right? So, I assume that you probably die in the next fucking however long. But if, in future, don't, you don't always have to push after a kill. If you just froze there... You run back to lane with an item advantage, he has no flash, and your jungle will be top soon. And you're safe from gank. So, I think pushing here is wrong, but it's fine. So... I actually slow push, I think. Okay, it doesn't matter. You're gonna He's going to come back to lane, you're there on low health, and you don't know where jungler is. So, it's not good. So, if you froze there, you might have been able to, like, cause a lot more damage, right? There's no no need to push. But, that's, that's a big thing to note. I think that you understand why we do that, right? Correct. Yep, yeah, okay. So, now... Like, it's just... This, this, it's just fucked, right? You have no TP. You're so low in health. <clears throat> don't know where jungler is. Even if the jungler doesn't come, he can probably kill you now, which is just not good. So it was either like a hard push, but it, you still wouldn't have had enough time to get on the tower. So we see Mordekaiser down there. Huh? You think what? I think the slow push is fine. Oh, uh, it's like, not. Okay, think about it's it. It's not. Mord comes back to lane. I have a huge wave. It's not. I flip him. It's not? Okay. It's not, because you have no flash, and the jungler can just gank you. Like, we, we, we can't die at all. We can't go for flip plays like, mm, maybe I'll be able to get a kill out of the 1v2. We need to ensure that you're not dying at all. Because that's the biggest thing from your games is you die a lot. Yes, you get good kills and stuff and got a good win rate. But if you can keep getting these kills and not die as much, that's that's how you're going to win. Because you just can't be killed in late game. So, if you froze it before, you're safe from ganks. And then Mordekaiser is ruined. So, that's the biggest thing to take away so far. Kane, you see Kane down here. Um, you should be really looking to, yeah, you should be looking to crash it as fast as you can now. I don't think you can stay, yeah, it, it's too late now, you should have done it on the last wave, so. We, we had the vision on the, the, the fiddle, and the thing, just wait, you'll see. So as soon as you see him fighting here, you either go and help him, which you can't, because you guys don't win, or hard push, so, I guess that's what you're doing, right? Use your W, probably. Yep. Yeah, that's what you do. That's how you do it. Yeah, no, nah, there's nothing you can do, it's just, fuck, the slow push was just a terrible idea, now you know they're here, right? So why are you still here? Like, you'll see. <laughs> on the biggest outplay in history. I know the fiddle. I fake it. I know he's going around, in my mind, to the tri bush. So I make it look like I'm going to the tri bush. So the fiddle who's dawdling behind thinks I'm going there. Then he realised he nah. just got the huge outplay and he AFKs. Right if we're being him. serious, there's, if we're being serious, there's no way on earth that that should ever work, right? Two v one. If they if they both walked in, they die. There's no way that you knew that was what's going to happen. So, in the correct play, it's lucky he pulled it off. It's not necessarily good, but you know it worked. And he DC'd. <laughs> yeah, he rage quit. He rage quit the <laughs> we can't rely on rage quitting to win. So, do you get him here? Okay. Oh, oh no. So, okay. I knew I was close to level six. No, no, Wait, it's wrong, Dave. Run. It's wrong. If we're being serious, it's wrong. It's retarded. It's wrong. You know why it's wrong, though? Like, what we talked about before, about the backing and stuff. Like, if they had a brain, it's 2v1 and you should have died. And even just you pushing up how you did is just so retarded. Did it work? It worked out, but that's not the point. It's not the point. Because it might have worked this game, but the next game you play, you'll lose from it. So you've got to be doing the correct thing every time. So, it worked, whatever. But it shouldn't have. So, like we said before, you should have based here when you had the freeze. Um, and then, it would have been fine. So anyway, you get the kills here. What do you do after this? Just hit plates, right? Uh, Fucking stay on you. I had to get one plate and then back. 
Because you have a lot of gold to spend. Oh, How much no. gold do you spend? This is what I'm thinking. I know I'm level 6. Mordecai is level 4. Federal still at Mord. I know Mord's coming back with this way. I walk I walk past it. Okay. Because I know I can fight him with the red buff. Yeah. And guess what? I kill him again. Yeah, this is Huge! fine, I guess. This is this is pretty decent. Cool. Destroy them. It's... <laughs> it's but see how close, <laughs> see how close it is? That's the biggest thing. This is why, like, it might have worked this game, Dave, but that call, I don't think, is right either. Like, because it, it would have it not worked a million in another million other games. So, like, you should have backed. You go for the flip play, it pays off, but is what it is, I guess. Are you insinuating that I burger flip all my players? Yes, 100%. Oh, yes, shot. you do. Okay, how do I see a gold? Do you know how to do that, G? X. X? 3K, holy shit. What do you buy? huge, baby! What do you buy? Uh, iron weapon, the thing, for movement speed on attacks, okay. and, you know, the auto cancel. Okay. Fine. I don't know how to build Ogot. Is this the stride break you're getting, or? Yeah. Okay. So now you got a huge wave on a tower. Decent CS discrepancy. You're pretty ahead. He's level 4 still, so I'd be looking to fight him right now. Which I'm sure you try to do, because you love fighting. So, you got a... Your ult up, actually, so... That's and why I'm freezing the wave. Yeah. Trying to. Yeah, but it's going to slow push. Yeah, so he goes to do this. And he'll probably take a bit of damage for it. <clears throat> yeah, it's slow push. I think slow pushing here is fine, right? Because if you can build up a big enough wave onto his tower, you can dive him. Um, that should be the mindset. Yep. So, this is fine. You should know his flash timing too, like that's one thing you just have to do to keep track of it. Five minutes, write it down in chat. Um, so he'll have flash coming up for this next thing. And he's still level four, so he's actually trolling at this game. Like if you didn't win this game, it would just be not good, right? He's actually trolling. I didn't win this game, by the way. Okay, well that sucks. Because, uh, let's, try, let's, find, let's find out. You're so ahead right now. This, you're, you're so ahead. So we'll be looking to crash this now, probably on this, this wave. We're attacking it, and you want it to crash. So, we, we, do we know where jungler is? I don't think we do, right? So, we don't know if it is, so we've got to be careful of his ult. And, I don't know if you know he's level yep. 6 yet or not, but... You should... You should have seen him at least at level 5 and know that he's close, so... And we also know he has flash. Okay. Nice. Good job. Once again, though. Once again, though. Look at your health, right? Really low. We don't know where Fid is. Okay, we see Fid mid, but you didn't know. I saw Fid mid. No, you didn't. I'm sure. What do you mean I didn't? You weren't watching me this game. I guess you see the scrying orb, but if you knew Fid wasn't there, then it's fine. But, but the, all I'm trying to say, Dave, is that in future you got to start playing like the the safest route that you know it's going to work. If you knew for sure you could kill him and the jungler wasn't there, then it's completely fine play. I know that you know you can kill him, but it's more so if you know where the jungler is. If you really knew that the scrying orb was hit, therefore the jungler was there, then it's fine. But I feel like you don't, so that's fine, it's, it's up to you. But if you knew he wasn't there, this is awesome, right? You kill him, you outplayed him, you get his CS, this is like just so, so ahead. Now you see Fid here, you know he's walking up, you should be taking this wave, hitting a plate and running. Does he have a predator? Yep. He doesn't. Okay, it, you take a bit too long to do this, because now he's probably like near the tri bush. Hit it. You gotta be walking this way too, because <clears throat> you know Fid's on his way to you, right? You're so low. Of course, he wants to run up. Of course. Okay. Okay. He doesn't come. Good job. You're so ahead right now. You're so ahead, and your team's relatively even too. So this is fine. Okay. You're back in lane. Yep. Shove it. Fid's bot. Yeah, bot lane's just flipping it. You're losing heart. Mm, I don't think you should do this. Why are you doing this? Doing Griff. Yeah. Because we saw bot. But mm. you're not the jungler, so the biggest thing is by you doing How this. I, take? Mm, I don't think it's right. I don't think it's good. I think the jungler should be doing it. Um, and it's better for you to be in lane denying Mordekaiser because even though he's not in lane right now. This is a chance for him to be able to get back XP and get back in the lane. But by you leaving the lane, that's the only way he can win again, right? So it's just, it's very lucky once again that he walked into you um, down there. I would have just stayed in lane and just chipped the tower away. 
Also, also we know we know we know Mordecai's is backed, right? Yep. Do you reckon you could kill? Do you reckon you could kill the tower by yourself? The, the rift has already killed the tower. It's too late. But if you didn't, you didn't need to rift. Is what I'm trying to say. Ah, oh, true. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, like, if your team's struggling, even if they're not struggling, you want to get maximum efficiency out of it. You're so ahead. This guy backs. Will you almost kill him? Yon and Fiddle did not show mid. They could have been looping around okay. the red. Fair. Kill it fast. Fair, fair, fair. And also, that's a nearly kill, like, big, big kill. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess it's fine, but... Yeah, alright. But in the case that you didn't know... I mean that you, that you didn't know that you were safe. Obviously, take it by yourself and then save it for mid or whatever, and just get maximum plates. But this is fine. Get tower. Um, you'd probably want to back then, though, under that same logic. That if what if they're here, then you'd probably want to back. True. So Yon might be here still. Anyway, you shove it. Okay. It all ends up in here. You okay. Okay. Oh, You're hey, so giga fed. You get a second charge off on it. Them. Okay. Kane stole my kill. I was so tilted. <laughs> you die. Uh, boomer man. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. Okay. How do you die? Just got. Um. Because he was level six, I thought it was. Did he ult you? Did he? Ult? Comes out. Nah, don't know. No, Yone just comes out of nowhere. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. Should have. Could have looked mid. No one is ever coming like, oh. Yeah, uh, not the end of the world, but obviously you're giving shutdown on your own. Your own's fucking one of those champs so you just don't want to give any gold to. So, a bit greedy. You probably were sitting on a lot of gold too. Let's go back and see how much you were. So, I guess that's the biggest thing of like just being aware of where the other enemy champs are because you know your champ's limitations, right? You know that you can kill fucking what's his name here. I had the, yeah, I had Kane as well with me. Yeah, yeah. So, this is fine. Like, you know your champ limitations. Like, the biggest pattern that I'm seeing is that you need to be aware of. Like, where, where everyone else is, right? So, like, we know Yone's missing. You said it before, but you're not really playing like he's, like he's missing. So, you get this kill, this is fine. You know Kane's there, so you're safe. Even if Yone comes right now, you're safe. Um, and now, I would just be backing here. I think it's just really, really greedy to stay. Like, you, the charge is going to hit regardless, and then the thing's going to die. And you've just, you're sitting on so much gold. What is it? X? 5k? Oh, no. 1,000. Okay. Sitting on 1,000 gold. And like you're tower diving too, right? Like you don't know where your own is, you're tower diving. It's common sense, you shouldn't do it. You can like sit here and chunk the tower, but it's just not good. So you die anyway. And then you buy a stride breaker. Um, I think the plated steel caps are good buy because Jinx and Yone are fed. Oh shit, did I miss out? What happened? Did you back, 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 back? Oh yeah, I TP back and just come, okay. and then I get the tower. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then we make a few plays, but you know, I was like, uh, I'll bring pressure top, so because my bot's getting fucked, I'll relieve some pressure by just hard pushing okay. top on repeat, which I shouldn't have done. You don't think you should have TP there? Nah, nah, I don't think I needed to. I don't think he's worth that much. Yeah. I know. I mean, I agree. Like, it's if you get the tower, it's not too bad. Like, you're kind of putting him work it top. It makes it easier to get him back into the game by destroying the towers as well. I could have held yeah. the rift and left the first tower on a little bit of HP, killed the whole wave. Yeah. There's so many things. See, I think, I think, you, sh I think you should be spam pinging dragon, though. Like, you always ping when someone dies, but you need to ping when... Like, you're the shot caller of this game, right? You're the only one doing good. Or, like, you're doing True. the best. Spam dragon, right? You've just killed the guy. The top lane is not going to be here. You've got complete prior bottom top. Most likely, they're coming top for you, their team. Um, I would just be spam ping and drag, like, and even though they might do it later, it's... Alright, okay, we see if we're there. Okay, you just, you run down the tower. Oh what? yeah, so this is very unfortunate, Lulu saves it's him. It's not unfortunate, it it's a terrible call. Being reeled in. It's not unfortunate at all, it's a terrible call, you we got the tower. We with Jinx. How am I meant to know Lulu's gonna be there? We saw Jinx recall. We just saw Lulu there for a second at bot lane as well, if I was looking. But like, even look how close you're getting to just him. You should never be getting that low just to him. It's because you're taking so many tower hits. Because that's a risky play. Yeah. 
So we can't do risky yeah. plays anymore. It needs to be like certain stuff. True. So you could have you got the tower, huge dub. Your team's about to get dragon, huge dub. All you have to do is not die. You had crazy shutdown and you've lost it all. So now you're starting to throw, right? So we should get dragon here hopefully, but at the same time, now they know the only person who does damage on your team, you, is dead. So they can probably contest dragon. You should have backed up to this tower, I think, and then probably walked to drag. But anyway. See like see how like you're starting to lose your lead, like with dumb plays that weren't worth it. So you spawn again, go mid. Yes. See now they don't get dragged. Get some... I wanted to get some plates mid. That's why I was thinking of going mid. And then I was like, you know what? My jungle useless. Let me take camps. Booga, booga, booga. Yeah, I think you can take his camps. That's fine. Um, At least you know. I just don't know. I mean, you can't really go mid, right? Like. I didn't go mid. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Later, I'm just saying, like, it's... You're probably at the stage where you want to get out of lane, but everyone else is still laning and stuff, so... Yeah, fuck. Huge CS advantage. Huge gold advantage. I'm still... Thing is, though, like, level. with with these two towers so early, I'm not saying you shouldn't have taken them, but it's just so dangerous now, right? Like, you can't... Like, you shouldn't be able to be up here. If your own walks up, you die. Obviously, you see him, so you're fine now. You can 2v1 jungle and top. Um, mm -hmm. you see Fed mid, awesome, so now you should just be trying to poke this guy without full-on diving him, poking him down, like, this is just end, Dave. Uh, you're gonna be disappointed, I'm sorry. It's alright. Look, I, I, I believed in the poke, I was like, okay, No, I'll there was no in, poke, you didn't poke, out, you didn't poke at all. Right you're in edge. such a good spot to carry this team right now, look, let's, look, let's imagine I, a different I, scenario. Let's imagine, these guys fight, whatever happens here, your team dies, your team dies here, but you get an inhib tower, and an inhib. I'm not saying you necessarily would have got the in here, but let's say you just get the tower and kill Morty. That's huge, right? You're literally 1v9 in this game. That's what you could have done. True. But instead, you want to go for the fucking retarded play. Like, you can still kill him. You can still kill him, but just don't rush everything. Like, you need to think, alright, he's level 9, these are his items. You're not as... Yeah, you just you can't one-shot him, so you should be queuing... Queue him, like, you know he's going to E, so obviously dodge that. And now... Yeah, you should just be killing him after you dodge the E and just poking him, getting his bone plating down. You're never going to kill him on this wave. There's not enough minions, right? So you'd just be popping his bone plating, not even taking one tower hit. You'd just be dancing right along this side. You take the next wave. Where'd these guys go? I didn't see where these guys go. So you walk up here. They use ult mid. Mid dies. Okay. Big L for the team, I understand. Well, it's not really for the team, it's more so for you, like, your team's already fucking doomed. But, if you didn't, like, they're missing anyway, so it's like, you might not have been able to stay around to kill them anyway, but, um, I don't know. It's still just, you can't, you can't just dive like that, so. 100%. Be slow with your plays, if, you just gotta know where everyone is on the map, so you knew fit and mid was there, so you could do whatever you want for the next 30 seconds, pretty much, but, yeah, don't, don't rush to dive it so hard. Because now Mordecai's has fucking got a bounty over you, like, it just, it shouldn't happen. True. Now, I'm just trying to think now what's the best play in terms of, like, what lane you should go to. You can probably just force mid, right? Yeah. Uh, mid, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm and like, then maybe, like, yeah, just... let Malza go off into another lane. I, I ping uh, the top wave, by yeah. the way. That, that ping was me. And I okay. pinged on Malza. So, so you see Fid here. Yeah, fine. Go for Rome Blight. Shouldn't fight him, you know Fiddle's there. I do. But hey, you know your limitations. Yep, then I see him on the roaming bot. Literally hard stomp him. Get the fear off on the Fiddle. It's just so easy. Unfortunately, see Mordecai's... Yeah, 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 yeah. If Morty wasn't there, you yeah. win it, right? And you knew that, so that's fine. True. But at the same time, you should have known Morty was missing. So that, like, that fight, I like a lot more than this shit up here. You know what I mean? And you understand why, right? So you knew you could fight your own and Fiddle 2v1. and But you didn't know where Morty was. So I guess you should expect, though, because this wave is so close on your tower, he's not sitting in lane waiting for it to bounce back. He's, like, way too overextended because he's got no towers. So we'd expect that he's missing. And his TP's up also. So he might even TP, does he? Do we know? Oh, no, he runs down. Uh, doesn't matter, though. Um, 
But anyway, like, yeah, you should run now. I think. Can, can you walk out? After I saw the mod on the control, I tried to walk out. Yeah, but it easier. Something happened. Yeah. Um. So that's kind of unfortunate. I was just pushing top though, so it's not too bad. He can't get anything. He's not enough tower damage. Yeah, right. He's chucking it. It's fine. Bot's getting munted. Yeah, I, I have TP available. I said in four seconds I'll come, but Jin backs off and it's like, okay, whatever. Because there, I could have TP'd and helped Jin, and I think we would have won the fight and I could have got a 500 gold shot down on Jinx. Nah, that's not. Let me, wait, so you're saying you should have TP'd when you spawned? So yeah. you said? I think. I think if Jin stayed... He's too uh, low. He's so low. Yeah, he's so low. See, this is like these plays that you always think are good are just flippy plays. They're just flippy plays. Like, even if it was full health... I mean, maybe you could have it was full health, but... You want to stay away from these plays. Like, any play that involves you TPing down to bot, like, that's why you see Toppy so hesitant a lot of the times with his TP plays. More so for, like, when it's even, right? And then you miss a few wave or two, which you'd know is bad. But even this, like, if it goes wrong... You're just giving them gold and then your TP's down and like, so you got to try to stay away from these players and think of like, what's the safest way of winning? So you know they're going to drag, you know um, this dude's farming bot, so probably go mid here, which is what you do. Um, yep. Can maybe even can potentially... go mid and then I go rift, I'm pretty sure, because yeah. I want to get the rift before. I mean, minute. dragon's not up for a bit, I would honestly be trying to contest dragon maybe. Do you reckon or...? Uh, I mean, I could. Kane, like, I with your whole team. The, the, t the enemy has to back for me if I get the rift and crack open top. Otherwise, you know, I just end the game. Which is what happens, I'm pretty sure, if you see in the later. Maybe, but I still think you should be with your team and stuff. Because there's so many bounties and stuff to claim also. Which are a lot worse. And if these guys don't get stopped soon, then they're just going to ruin your, your team. So I think because your whole team spawns, you can probably just spam ping it and then maybe try to contest it. I'm not too sure. But anyway, you get this. I have TP as well if my team... True, 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 true. Then that's fair. This is fine, I guess. I'm, I can't say I was thinking about yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty sure it would be. Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, I'd be spamming this now, probably, like, to do this, do this, do this. But... Yeah, I see Kane but it. Yeah, if, why, yeah. You, can, you can't do it if Kane's there, yeah. But at the same time, maybe if you were there earlier, see, he doesn't necessarily know that you're going to TP. You probably didn't ping your TP, True. so, so you got to spam ping and say I will TP, or just TP early. Like it's better you TPing early than not being able to TP at all. Um, so now you're going to shove I this. These guys are going to try to fight way. these guys. Yeah, it's pretty like it's pretty early for an inhib. So although it's good, like it's not the best thing in the world. It's kind of lucky team are killing these guys too. So, hopefully you don't dive this guy, and just hit the tower. No, the, the rift kills the Okay, yeah, now you can kill him. But they're, they're all missing yeah, on their I, team. I, break, uh, I run yep. down. I know that guy. Yep. I, I, Bad luck, just hit no. inhib and then leave. Because you know the whole team's coming back. That's it. You're staying still. Like... I got polymorph. It doesn't so. matter. You kill Lulu and then you die and give Jinx another kill. I don't actually kill anyone. Yeah, but like if I'm saying like worst case, uh, best case scenario, you kill Lulu and then this is the flip plays. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> like this is so ingrained into your brain, but it's not the right way to play. Because you could have gone in here, but that's huge. You're doing fat work for your team. You miss ult, which is fine, and then in here out. This is like as soon as you keep moving here, it's just end. You know they're all basing. You can't see anyone on the map. You haven't seen anyone on the map for ten seconds. So in here out, right? And then here, like, you still have the chance to walk out, but you can go in again. <laughs> Mind you, you're fucking doing work to their base, but... Hey, I'm doing hard work. What's my team doing at this time? They got a mid tower. That's about it. It's just, I yeah. I just wanted to... You're just running it. But <laughs> the minions nearly got the tower. Doesn't I matter. It doesn't matter. It's not the safest route. It's just flippy. Uh, whatever. But anyway, it, it relieved pressure off my team to get something done. Yeah. And now it gives them a lane to farm really though too, right? It's 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 true. 19 minutes. There's not a real possibility of you guys ending the game this early type thing. I know you did good work there, but you know sometimes a lane for Mordecai to be able to farm now because you can't go top anymore, right? This lane's done. Like it's always going to be pushed into them. Yeah, you can't you can't farm this lane anymore. So it means that Jinx can farm it or whoever can just farm that. And so anyway. I let it. 
I know Jinx farmed it a couple times for herself. And There's no point you're running top here. This down. is you can't. You have TP. You should be. Well, I guess this guy dies. Just uh, like it, look, right. super minions are always going to outpush normal minions, right? So you can't farm it. Yeah. So that's why. You should just be running here, I think. Yeah, you should be running here. You should have ran straight here. True. There's nothing to take. Yeah, I can TP top. Yeah, even get mid wave. Yeah, you, you not. You, we should be forgetting about top of the stage. Like, there's not really yeah. any possible unless they're all on dragon and you're going to throw a backdoor. But we should never be looking at top. Like, you should have just true. ran mid and then held the TP for something else. So, you need to be here to defend this tower. <coughs> so you run over now. <laughs> okay, so this is just dumb. They're all missing mid. Mm. I mean, now you see him. Yes, you can kill her, but it's just so like. Such forcing, like it's just Force. it's just relying on that no one else comes and that. Like, look how close you're the base. <laughs> Fucking so early. Um, like, yeah. look if if you didn't go up here, Jinx has to stay in this lane. She has to farm the minions, which is kind of good for her. But at the same time, you, these guys kill your own mid. You can get another in here, right? You'd be pushing up here. It would be more to Kaiser and Lulu here, maybe. Um, maybe Mordekaiser. Yeah, Mordekaiser Lulu. Jinx has to stay here, and then, like, you can just open up the rest of the map and really end the game from here. But instead, you run up and then waste a lot of time, and... I can't get on Lulu and a team, uh, Jinx and a team. It doesn't matter, you don't have to get on him. You don't have to get on him. You just have to sit here and hit, hit the towers. If Jinx isn't here, if Jinx is top, sorry, and you're all mid, like, she's locked into lane, but instead you just do this dumb shit. You get her, which is good, but it's just flip again, right? Like... Your team doesn't get anything off it, probably. They probably don't even get mid tower. No, nope. I make huge plays. Like, what are they doing? What are they doing right now? My trying to help you. Mm. I don't need to get mid tower again. Yeah, they, you should have been mid, so you got to set them up. So, it's just a flip play, and it was lucky you got her again, but it doesn't change I don't anything. I know the perfect plays for macro every game. However, I'm playing the best on my team. If I had their team on my team, I win hard stomp 15 minute FF. Yeah, team but... diff every game. Anyway. Um, I guess the biggest things are... I don't know. Like knowing make where they all decision. are on the... Yeah, make better decisions. Just like, try to think Watch a little bit more. Play around the, your losing team or try aid them into getting ahead. Pretty much, pretty much. Like, yeah. I try. It's fine. This game, I try. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Um, you did good in lane and you stomped them pretty hard. But yeah, you should have been able to carry the game with it. But hopefully, you can mm -hmm. have a bit of a broader perspective with future games and True. and you and try to make the right decisions. Let's do a do a quick live game review.